War Dogs is directed by Todd Phillips and stars Miles Teller, Jonah Hill, and Anna de Armas. The film is just basically about two gun runners, basically based in a true story. I don't know why I say based so much right here. Back in 2008, 2009, they're gun running and they run into a bunch of issues and it's actually just a fucking great ass film. Now this film came out in 2016. I remember watching this first in 20, it was either 2016 or 2015, but I remember watching it on HBO for the first time in 2017 or something like that. And I fell in love with this fucking movie from start to finish. I recorded it on my TV and I actually kept rewatching it and I just loved it. It's just a simple premise movie that's based on a true story with characters that you understand and like relate to at times and how much like humanity that these characters got and the basic of I like based on a true story movies I really do so this was something that really was interesting and kind of fun at the same point so I had to go out and get the 4k blu-ray um I remember ordering this back in 2017 I, I was so happy I got the slip cover and this is like the second movie I saw with Miles Teller I loved him from Whiplash and that came out right before this but this film was wow it was truly fun, but yet really, really good. Let me put this down for a sec. You guys got to know me by now. Anytime that I want to do my physical shame of physical media, I'm going to do it. But War Dogs for me is a movie that is stylistically beautiful. The cinematography, the, um, the score, the music choices throughout the film, the acting by Miles Teller, Jonah Hill, and Anna de Armas. I first, this is the first film that I fell in love with Anna de Armas. It's true. She's definitely still my celebrity crush. Of course, she's fucking gorgeous. And this is like the second or third film, maybe fourth, that I was familiar with Todd Phillips as a director prior to Joker. And I thought he did a great job. Now, I saw the Hangover movies. I liked the first one. For some reason, I got entertained out of the third one. Don't know why, even though I know it wasn't a good Hangover movie. But I really think that this is one of my, besides Joker, my favorite Todd Phillips films. I think it's a straightforward, paced, perfectly film. It's an hour and 50 minutes, so it flies by. But like showing the true story between David Packouts and Ephraim DiBiroli, I think that's how you say his name, and the true story about what these two went work together as partners and then ended up, Ephraim ended up obviously fucking him over. But like it just was a fun type of relaxed interesting movie that I like and that's one thing I do like is like time period movies like obviously I like stuff like Gladiator or I like things like Oppenheimer right historical events and this is a based on a true story film that I just really gravitized towards and I was like this is really fun there's not a lot of action or anything in it but it's just like a simple premise movie that is complex that I just really enjoyed and I remember in 2017, like I said, I recorded it on HBO. I had to watch it about six or seven times on there until I bought the 4K. Once I bought the 4K, I had to watch it another 10 times after that. And I actually just rewatched it literally an hour ago today. I'm like, I have to talk about this movie. And I looked on my channel, I'm like, I never talked about this yet. And that's insane. So it's due definitely for that. But um, War Dogs, I really just enjoyed this movie. It's a movie that I noticed is decently well received i think it's got a seven point or a seven or something on imdb right now and it's been out for how long guys like almost six seven years something like that so it's received pretty well i just like i said the cast great great performances it's just stylistically beautiful to watch it's got a great score great musical choices you definitely can tell that Todd Phillips loves adding in his 80s music in this film just like he does with joker and stuff like that um I, or like he loves his music choices in film I, you could just tell he likes that and that's one thing I like about Todd Phillips at times is his musical choices or like for songs stuff like that but overall like I just I don't know I've always liked this film I really want to get your guys's opinion like and I want I'm going to definitely respond to anybody that responds to this like you guys remember War Dogs you guys enjoy it like I did I just thought it was one of those hidden gem films where it's like it came out in 2015 so actually holy fuck it's gonna be 10 years old actually it's like one of those hidden gem films where it's like you watched it, it was good, but they forget about it. And you don't hear anything talked about it anymore. And I just wanted to talk about it. And I just really liked it. Overall, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I give War Dogs a 10. I fucking liked it. I enjoyed it. Had a blast with it. And upon a rewatch, the rewatchability is always there. Uh, something about Miles Teller and Jonah Hill, they just have that on-screen performance, at least in this film, that is just like... 
two likable dudes, even though Jonah Hill's character is an asshole and he fucks people over. But like just that energy and that charisma that they all have, it just works well with a perfectly paced, structured film. I had to talk about this film, but guys, have you seen War Dogs? Do you guys enjoy it as much as me? Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more. Stay tuned for next week. Early next week, hopefully, I will have a review for the first Gladiator out on the channel. I cannot believe I didn't even review that in time for Gladiator 2 coming out, which I will be attending a screening for on Thursday. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys.